Hello there, welcome in this short tutorial where I would like to show you how to make those nice soft edges around images if you would have really no idea what design to do and what to do with your slide. Those are especially very interesting if you would for example click on the photograph and give them a very simple fade animation. It slowly fades into the screen and this, those borders really blend with the background. Let me maximize the duration and look how amazing this, this is. It can for example suit as design like that and the technique is very simple. You take any photograph you need. For example I have a photograph with a person, a face here, but this can be even a hand. It's no problem. The way I go about this, I click on crop, I just very roughly crop the image to 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 have like the visualization of what I would like to be to be shown. What you can do with the crop options is to select this button, open the crop to shape, and for example, you should start with the oval, the circle. Once you click the circle, the crop is really weird as you can see here. So you can do another thing. You can open the crop and apart from the shape, you have aspect ratio. Clicking on aspect ratio will allow you to adjust the crop to be a perfect circle. But you don't have to do this, of course, since the hand is like stretching out, it could be as well a bit more oval. Okay, something like that. You hit crop, then you can go to the effects. Here, once you click on this, you can right click and you can select format picture. Let me close the animation pane. In the format picture, you have plenty of options as you can see. You have filling options, but what is of our interest is the effect options. A unused effect is often soft edges. I pick this effect and I draw the size nearly to the end. You can see like to 80, 90, even 95 points. This is the effect you achieve. It blends perfectly with any background you use and if those are like too strongly, to, they start to destroy your image, they cover up the vision you wouldn't want them to cover up, that's no problem. Always go to format, click back on crop and make the crop bigger. For example, I would like the top side of the hand to like be more visible. I just adjust the crop a little bit, I click again and the soft edges are already applied. And this blends in beautifully no matter what background you choose. You see, as I click the image and I click on the slide, it automatically goes to my format background. Now I can select really any background I want. Of course, the image doesn't work with the blue, but I would select a gray, I could select even something like that. No matter what you select, it will always perfectly blend out with the background. This technique could be explained in a few more examples, but the principles remain the same. Crop it, use soft edges and make the preset very strong, like to 90 or 80 point. Thanks so much for listening and I hope this tutorial will elevate your PowerPoint skills to another level.